So this is a Soviet era T-72 tank. It's one that the Soviet Union built in large numbers. It's typical of what we often describe as a frying pan shaped turret. Um, the Soviets built a series of tanks. Um, the T-72 is basically, it's Type 72. It goes into service in 1972. Um, they are built in large numbers. Over 15,000 of these were used by the Soviet forces. And nowadays, of course, there's an awful lot of them all still in use all around the world. And they were exported, they were sold on. It's got this very low profile. It's got thick frontal armor. Back in the days of the Cold War, you knew where your enemy were. So you put the thickest armor on the front, side armor's thinner, rear armor the thinnest. And so, David, what differs between these and the NATO version of the time? So, on the whole, NATO tanks, they tend to have better ergonomics. In other words, the crew positions, there's more room for them. These are very small, tight tanks. And the, from the point of view of the, the, the crews, the Soviet Union insisted, you know, really, it was about five foot three, maybe five foot four, but any higher, taller than that, you weren't allowed in. And there's details as well, things like looking at the tracks. Um, these are what are called aggressive tracks. They're metal with cleats on to dig into the earth. NATO tanks would always have to have rubber pads on because if we were driving on a public road, you imagine a warm day, tarmac, etc. These would just rip up that tarmac. So NATO, we wanted, you know, we were part of a civil society. We are, cannot afford to be driving around ruining every road that we go along all the time. The rounds that a tank like this are firing, so it's a 125 millimeter gun, it's what they call a smoothbore gun. They do that so that they can fire not only projectiles like this, this is what's called a fin round. Um, it's basically a metal dart. It's the Soviet Union that first comes up with these. You fire that dart out the end of the barrel with as much kinetic energy as you can behind it. In other words, it's a sheer welly behind that piece of metal will smash its way through the enemy's armour. That was the idea behind it. But they also made it a smoothbore, so it's like a launcher tube for missiles. The firepower on this is very effective. Their sighting systems were perhaps not as good or as sophisticated as those we were using in NATO. But one of the issues with T-72s is over time, they've had upgrades and they have bought in other products to add to the vehicle. So does that mean that on the field they're not all looking the same? That's one of our biggest confusions all the time because it will be almost impossible to find two T-72s that look exactly alike because they may have been going through different rebuild programmes, they may have had different upgrades on them and also one thing that we're obviously seeing in Ukraine is field modification. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.